up sauce gang and welcome back to the channel hot sauce beats here with another minecraft civilization sunday reaction that is right and we are back with the last minecraft civilization video from ish and this is called 200 players simulate civilization on minecraft island and i mean this is the last one we have to react to of his and yes we're gonna be peeping out more speed silver and also i think his name's like sword 1400 or something Basically, every Sunday, we're going to be doing a Minecraft Civilization reaction, and I'm beyond hype for this. I've been holding off on this because Ish so far is my favorite uh, Minecraft creator for uh, Minecraft Civilization content, and this is the last one. So I'm beyond hype for this, but before we jump in this, why don't you show Ish some love by subscribing to his channel, and if you enjoy my reaction, smash that subscribe button because it greatly helps. But enough talking. Let's get to reacting and roll that bomb message. Bro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Oh, sauce gang. And magic gum. That's any. In any an critter, we'll do any of them. 200 Minecraft players crashed onto an island. Their goal oh, is to on build one a massive island. civilization. And just like in real life, if you die, you remain dead forever. Gone. Will the players build a successful civilization and perhaps find a way to escape the island, or will the civilization crash and burn? I present oh. to you the <laughs> Let's island go! experiment. Oh, I'm hyped, dude. I just these videos they're just so exciting and we on the discord baby we on his discord server i want to be in a, in a ish video i mean come on you you guys you join the sauce gang right i feel like we could build an amazing civilization together called sauce saucy civilization and we just all stay saucy. Keep it 100. 100 players woke up at the site of a plane crash. Just two minutes ago, they were in the air when this happened. Attention, passengers. Brace for death. <laughs> for now, all 200 players seem to be doing okay, except for this guy who somehow spawned high up in a tree and couldn't get down. I teleported to him, laughed at him, and then I left. Here's what the players knew. They it had sucks. crashed onto a mysterious island. There were oh, 200 I just saw them, legacy. and they only had one life each. Given these circumstances, they knew that the best option was to Solid. work together, and so they decided to set up camp right next to the crash site where they knew they were relatively safe. Dang, look at this. This is impressive. Some players, however, were eager to explore the island. As such, several exploration stay away from were the sent snow. out across the island in an attempt to fully scout it out and discover what exactly this island was made of. The players figured out that the island was composed of the four bata. different biomes. The plains biome, the desert biome, the snow biome, and the jungle biome. The strangest thing, however- I would stay away from the snow and I'd stay- I would just stay in the plains, bro. Unless if we got some, you know, like terroristic leaders in there and they want to chop everyone's head off. But outside of that, dude, I, I, yeah, planes, planes all day, baby. Let's go. That the players found was a large mystical tower at the center of the island where all the biomes connect. Most were too afraid to even approach the tower while some players climbed to the very top. Call it stupidity or bravery. Regardless, it will later be called natural selection. Eventually, some people in the main sanctuary decided to go down into the mines to extract resources from the island they now inhabited. In particular, they were looking for iron so that they could make armor to protect their people I, from whatever danger I would this start island mining. was going to present. Meanwhile, some players realized that the- Correction, if I was on here, I first would start, you know, gathering some people, you know, forming our group, forming our alliances, and then we'd go mine so we could all armor up, make weapons, Cause you know, uh, you gotta keep it peaceful, but you gotta be ready for war. At all times, you have to be ready for war. That's what we would do, be ready. Plane crash site might have some plane we parts made pushed of iron, around. and they were right. Those who extracted the plane remains soon became very wealthy. Other than the explorers and the miners, the Brilliant. sanctuary also employed their farmers to provide food for the population. I spoke with one farmer named Legacy, who survived the plane crash with we his like parents. Legacy on this I channel. Of seeds, so that way we can get this farm going. The sanctuary's decision to get a farm started Legacy, early we would team would up. We would team up, bro. Beneficial in the later days. The players needed to establish a political system to maintain order, as there was some crime starting to occur, like this underground robbery. This guy just told me he's about to hold someone at lava point. Drop lava your point? Thomas, I don't... 
drop them. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, it actually worked! The people decided to make a system in which they'd vote for a council of leaders with one main leader on top. Ooh. A player named Solev, who was originally yeah. one of the island scouting <laughs> leaders, guided his exploration group back into the sanctuary and then took the mantle of power over the entire sanctuary. Solev made freedom a main concern of his platform and allowed players to build, farm, and explore as they saw fit. This freedom, while a good principle, would lead to some conflict between the players who disagreed on fundamental issues like what to do about criminals, how to allocate resources, and who should be allowed to have weapons. Now, Solev was not aware of the fact oh. that out in the jungle, an alternative civilization was starting to form. Led by a player named Colors, the people who settled here did so because they had doubts in the leadership of Solev who many saw as weak and afraid to take action. Welcome to Ground Zero. Uh, oh. is what I'd like to call this place. This is the foundations of new comings, new opportunities. It's wonderful. Colors provided the new jungle civilization with freedoms, but also with a steady hand and decisive action. At the end of day okay. one, several members of the jungle's army hunted down wanted criminals, including thieves and accused killers. Through its steady leadership, its military... So acute. So do they not hold trials? I mean, I'm all for taking decisive action, but you gotta... You gotta prove you're innocent until proven guilty. Strength and its cocoa bean based economy, the jungle civilization was seeing lots of success. Instead of there being one united civilization, there were now two. This was not part of the plan. Let's go. I, 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 I'm smelling some war. It Smells was the like second war. day on the island, and no help from the outside world had arrived. Those who tried to escape by simply sailing away quickly realized that it was impossible. <laughs> the players had no choice but to settle in. Over the days, many cultures and religions started to form. <laughs> in the sanctuary, a player named Pinkwings10 made what she described as a, quote, flower cult. Nibiu, sit in the chair. We will commence shortly. <laughs> the actual... I was too creeped out to continue watching, so I left. Also in the sanctuary, yes, I the left too, bro. desert was dug out so that a player named Storming Hell could make a mini sultanate that was similar to his home. Our people have been reminiscing of our old home. I love Storming Hell, dude. He's always just taking over the desert civilization and rising to the top. He's always rising to the top. And I see him in Storming Hell. I see you in the Discord, bro. I see you talk. I see you already forming teams up for the next video i see you there's no desert here we'll just make one in the jungle meanwhile i found several subcultures like the volcano men a group of people who lived on the jungle volcano and also hope's bounty and her followers a largely autonomous group who chose to live in an underground bunker for their own safety Lastly, some players chose to settle smart. completely on their own outside of both the sanctuary and the jungle. A player named Wood Daddy did not want to be involved in any <laughs> politics or civilization, in so he made himself a small cave where he and his cats could live. I was gonna Dude, that was kind of like a Legacy. Legacy did the same thing, and Legacy and his parrot made it to the end. Actually did really good. Going home, visiting the wife and kids, playing Crash, I figured, well... Might as well make the most of it. Realized really quick that building a farm in a cave is not a good idea. So I uh, have expanded because I'm terrified of starving. This fear of starving would serve Wood Daddy well as he was somewhat prepared for what was about to happen next. Alright, it's now raining for the first time. Let's see what the people do. Okay. Lightning struck the tower, and the curious people came to investigate. This marked the first server event. Let's see how the people react when they all get the extreme hunger effect, which quickly diminishes the player's hunger bar. If the player doesn't find food in time, they die. The great hunger begins. Oh my god. 
looking at chat right now. People are freaking out. Some players ran back to their homes while others stood still in an attempt to stop their hunger bar from going down. Shortly it's still going, if it's extreme hunger, it's still going down, just not as fast. Who were not carrying any food started to die. Hey, he is taking damage fast. Both of the two major civilizations realized that there was only one cure for the famine, and that was to find a cow, since in Minecraft, milk eliminates all potion effects from a player. In the sanctuary, one farmer told Sola that during the first day he had gathered a cow in his pen, and with that began a massive rush to that cow. <laughs> Is there a cow in here? Oh my god! They have one cow. Everyone in the sanctuary is milking this one cow. <laughs> Solev and his people quickly cured themselves of the extreme hunger and were thus able to return to their normal lives. In the jungle civilization, however, there was a much different story taking place. Uh, Thorn took the cow. He's selling milk buckets for a diamond. Oh, for <laughs> two diamonds! Two Are diamonds a bucket! Are you serious? There was only one cow in the entirety of the jungle, and it was hidden by a merchant named Thorn, who wanted to sell each milk bucket for two diamonds. Colors and the other jungle leaders received their milk buckets quickly, while those who didn't have any diamonds rushed to their stashes of cookies in hopes to sustain themselves until they found another cow. Many of those players died from starvation. Players uh. in the jungle also started raiding each other's farms and in some cases even killing each other for food. Oh, what the heck? They just killed someone for food in Wood Daddy's cave. <laughs> Good thing Wood Daddy's in here. While the sanctuary prospered, the jungle went to sleep, hungry, agitated, and on the brink of Lord. total collapse. Dude. Wow, we're down to day three, bro. And we've already lost 30, 30%. Yeah, we've already lost 30%. Dude, that is crazy, man. Sorry, we've already lost 40%. My math was a little off. By the third day, many in the jungle and the outskirts had died from lot. either starvation or a day? were killed by the sword of another player, desperate for food. Even the otherwise passive group of Hope's That's Bounty cool had to SOS. kill a thief who attacked her people. Someone was looting our farms and our stuff, so we had to just get rid of them. At some point, Solev himself silently came to the village to see the devastation firsthand. Also, by day three, the jungle merchant Thorn eventually realized the damage and deaths caused by his milk monopoly. So he gave away the ownership of his cow to the people of the jungle and let them have milk for free. Furthermore, all the people were now aware that the mystical tower in the middle of the island was, was dangerous good? and nobody dared approach it. After the great hunger, finding out how to escape this island became a top priority. In some parts of the island, life was depleting quickly. But in other parts of the island, like the House of Wood Daddy, things were rather lively. You're putting two cats in a bed to freaking breed them? Well, they, they didn't want to breed on the helipad. So we figured <laughs> they needed the right environment, so... I don't... Set the mood? You got some mood lighting? Oh, 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 oh my god! I did it on the bed. The Stop it! Famine, Stop Wood it! Daddy had run into a player named <laughs> Thanos Chicken, who was on the verge of starving. Wood Daddy not only saved his life, but allowed him to stay in his home after realizing that Thanos Chicken also had his own cats. And now both of their cats have a cat. I hope now this you have a, a baby cat even together. Further. It was sudden when on day three... No, stop it. Stop it, Wood Daddy. You don't need all those cats. You don't need a cat army. Scandal struck the jungle. Someone had found out that at the beginning of the Great Famine, the jungle merchant Thorn had given Colors and the rest of the jungle leadership milk for free, even though everyone else had to either pay two diamonds or starve. With that news, the jungle plunged right back into chaos. Thorn the merchant was assassinated by a lone vigilante, and the jungle leadership was hunted down by revolutionaries seeking retribution. Hope's bounty was able to find the jungle leader Colors and lead him down into her bunker, and together, they evacuated the jungle through an underground passage. This passage took them straight to Solev's sanctuary, where they requested to stay as refugees. As Solev met with Colors to discuss the situation, a large crowd started to gather. Solev Bruh. told Colors that if he let in refugees, his sanctuary would be targeted and his people would be attacked. 
callers promised that if Solev offered him and his people refugee spots, they would help in any defense efforts necessary. Solev was hesitant, but eventually he agreed to take Colors, Hope's Bounty, and their people into the sanctuary uh, in an effort I don't know to if he unite done the that. island as one civilization, a civilization that would work together with one goal in mind, to escape this island. But then right as the agreement you gotta remember, man. Colors, a lot of a lot of those people left Solo's Nation. Like, I'm all for peace and all that stuff, but you leave and you don't like it, then yeah, that's that's cool. I'm not gonna hunt you down, but you ain't coming back in. Believe that. You know, in Minecraft Civilization, there's no such thing as second chances. And hardcore, when you got one life, that's it. You're done. Get out of here. Be gone. Go to go to snowy mountaintops. Go to the volcano it was made they heard a noise in the ground see see whoa storming hell door something bro colors was that a trap was that a trap we're down to the 80 explosion of day three Do another 20 percent jungle leader colors 60 percent gone storming hell and three other sanctuary citizens this event was planned and carried out by several jungle revolutionaries who wanted colors dead solev after seeing many of his friends die and after coming close to death himself feared for his safety, and so the next day, he resigned from his sanctuary leadership position and held an election to replace his seat. Wow. The people voted overwhelmingly for a player named Alanulo, the sanctuary's Alanulo! chief architect. Alanulo ruled in a similar freedom-oriented manner as Solev, but he focused his platform on escaping the island and on securing the safety of his citizens. His first plan of action was to find those responsible for the explosion and execute them. He also directed the building of the sanctuary's secure underground bunker. For the first time since the plane crash, the people on the island were united. But then, right as the group photo was taking place, it started to rain and lightning struck the Stop tower. It. The second Stop it. major event was about to begin. Very few people came to the tower this time, as most people sensed danger and quickly ran into the sanctuary's secure bunker. Once everyone was inside, the entrance was sealed off. Meanwhile, at the tower, the jaw of chaos was unleashed. Another one! Oh my gosh, it's a bloodbath! They're running down, they're running down. Duck bath! Oh no! Skeletons that kill in one shot spawn throughout the map. The people of the sanctuary hid in the bunker while Wood Daddy and his friends stayed in their cave, hoping the skeletons wouldn't break in. Once again, the island was in a state. One shot skeletons. Stop it, dude. Of chaos. No matter what you do, do not open the door. Run, no. people. The danger now, I guess, who is in danger. Oh. Oh. You know, they're going back. <laughs> Okay, less, less. 73 people left, okay. We got a flying machine. Yeah, you gotta have something on the back to stop you from falling off. Come on now. Some of engineers from the sanctuary had actually built a flying contraption to escape the island. They, however, quickly realized that we were playing on a server with an endless, empty world. So once they flew away, nobody saw them ever again. But I do admire the effort. <laughs> on day five, people were starting to get creative and in some cases, a little too creative. What the frick? <laughs> Somehow, this guy had turned himself into my face. I did not quite know how to feel about this. Meanwhile, a group of farmers <laughs> brought a hundred chickens to the middle tower to We're sacrifice them in hopes to appease the gods. The gods, also known as the staff team, decided to humor this. Yeah! <laughs> oh my Go! God. As That's a reward epic. for the sacrifice, the farmers got nothing. <laughs> I then went to check on Wood Daddy and Thanos Chicken. They seemed to be doing quite well. I bet you those two make it to the end, dude. Again, there's just something... Like I said, Legacy did the same thing. You just go off on your own, which would, I'd still want to be part of a big group of people, but 
When you go off on your own, do this, you're away from the chaos, away from the war, like... Well, now together having raised over three generations of a cat family. Similarly, I found another guy raising a parrot in his cave. I then promptly reenacted the plot of the movie Rio. Parrots meets parrots. Legacy! Yeah, Legacy's got a parrot again, <laughs> of course. baby parrots? Is that a thing? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> Overall, day five was a time of much needed peace and good, rest. Good. A day when people could finally mourn the dead and celebrate their own accomplishments. Alanulo permitted the building of many very impressive pieces of architecture, like the Temples of the Sultanate, the large dome right outside Sanctuary Grounds, and the Gladiators Arena where all the people gathered to watch fights. Later in the day, a group originally from the jungle went back to the jungle to have a wedding before another major disaster uh -oh. could occur. Uh -oh. Having had their parties, their gatherings, and and their quality time spent with each other and in some cases with their immense amount of pets, the people happen. who were still alive saw a glimmer of hope that they could together Bro, escape Tato. the island and live out the rest of their lives. Alandulo issued a strict lockdown at the end of day five in anticipation of a third major disaster that would occur during what ended up being the final day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 70? Hey, we only lost three people that On day. On day six, the people woke up and stayed in their homes, awaiting a disaster. Accordingly, soon enough, it started to rain. Yes! It was time to implement the final variable of <laughs> this experiment. The people were informed that an escape passage had opened up in the center of the tower. This escape passage would bring the players onto a plane to leave this island once and for all. Trap. However, the players were also informed that the passage would only accept players who have killed another player. With that shocking revelation, Olanulo tried to organize the sanctuary's next plan of action, but to no avail. It was every man for himself, chaos. Olanulo snuck away to find someone to kill so he himself could at least escape, but he was ambushed by a group from the jungle and killed. So here we go, Dapper now in a fight. Shoot! Who is gonna win? Legacy just got a kill. If he makes it to the town, Power, he could escape. Oh, look at that. Solev got a kill. Solev, Legacy, and their friend Matez were the first to reach the tower. Hoping for the best, Solev jumped in. Slowly, people started to escape one by one. However, go. there was one final twist. Anybody who didn't escape in the next five minutes would be struck by lightning and killed. One way or another, there would be no people left on the island. Let's go! Some people prepared to make a last-ditch effort to escape, while others huddled with their friends and accepted their fate. In the cat cave, neither Wood Daddy nor Thanos Chicken had gotten a kill yet, but they made plans to run to the tower anyway. More and more people started to arrive at the tower. Yeah, just go to the tower and wait to kill someone there. I mean... Winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? Power ...and fight for their lives. These two friends had made it, but only one of them had gotten a kill. Oh! <laughs> I threw him back up! Kill him, kill him, please, kill him, kill him. Oh, they're killing their friends! Come on. Come on, Wood Daddy and Thanos Chicken! One of you, one of you have to die! That sounds very sus. Jump in the hole! Did he make it? Bruh. I bet you less than 10 people made it. Boy, daddy made it. Let's go. Dude, this was so good. 
was that? Like seven, eight? Bro! Ish! No! <laughs> I don't want this to be your last video! Let me bring you in, Sauce Gang. Dude, this was so good. I love the element of surprise with that tower in the center, changing stuff up. And uh, dude, this was truly amazing. I had an absolute blast reacting to this. I love, like I said, Ish has changed his videos every single time and adding these new elements and it just makes, it makes the vibe of the video completely different. I absolutely love this. Congrats to everyone who survived and 07s to the people that were murdered and bruh, this was good. Chat, also what you guys need to do, let me know in the comments. Like I said, uh, we definitely got more speed silver. We need to react to more magic gum. The sword 4000 or I'm terrible at remembering names, but and then I know there's other people who've done Minecraft civilization videos, but every Sunday we'll do another. Sadly, this is the fourth and last one by Ish. Um, I know he's going to do more videos in the future, so uh, we'll have more in the future to react to. And uh, But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. I hope you enjoyed this again. Make sure you show Ish some love by subscribing to his channel and liking the original video. If you enjoyed my reaction, please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day and remember, if you sleep and make beats and as usual, we count one another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Ah, got him my love for the Sauce Gang. Peace out, champ.